Hey, it's Naomi with Everlesson 101. Want to learn how to build a beautiful, professional-looking membership site that your clients will love logging into, and you don't have to have any design skills, you don't have to have any coding skills, and you don't have to fool with a WordPress plugin. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Everlesson 101 training. In this video series, I'm gonna walk you through creating a membership site from start to finish using the Everlesson platform. Video one is choosing and customizing your theme. Head on over to everlesson101.com slash training for free registration to the membership site that we will build during this training series. This way you can get a look and feel of the user experience and you can also obtain any of the downloads that are mentioned during the video series. The link will also be provided in the description box below. Creating and customizing a membership site is very easy with Everlesson. You don't need any design skills or coding skills. It only takes a few mouse clicks. When you first log into Everlesson, you will be taken to the dashboard. To create a new membership site, you click Create Membership. In this screen, you will name your membership. The name of this one will be Everlesson 101 and you will also name your subdomain. This will be the URL that your members will go to so that they can log into your membership. You have to ensure that there are no spaces in here. It must be a minimum of two letters and it cannot already be taken. It will let you know at the bottom if it's available. If it already exists, you will have a notice that says already exist. The title of this membership will be Everlesson 101. In my description, discover how to build a beautiful and fun membership site. No design skills needed. You will add an image. This will be the image that they will see, that you will see in your dashboard when you log into your back office. This will not be the image that your customers will see. We will get to that in the next steps. This is the image gallery. You can upload your own images. You can use images from the image library. These are images that come with the site or if you have a Uzine subscription, you can use images that you've created in Uzine. I do not currently have this integrated. I'm just gonna use one of my own images and I've already uploaded the Everlesson 101 image. And then you click proceed. Now that my membership has been created, it's time to select a theme. There are a variety of themes that are built into the platform. However, with the pro upgrade, you get 20. With the basic, I don't think you get 20. I think you get maybe five. You can preview your themes using this icon here. It shows you what the login page looks like, what your module page looks like, your sales page, your content page, as well as your category page. For this example, I wanna use theme three. To select the theme, you click the plus sign. It says use theme. In the next screen, you will add your logo and you will add your image. You get the same image library. I will use the Everlesson 101 logo. When you add your image, this is the actual image that your members will see when they're logging into your membership. I created this image using Canva. I'll just show you briefly how I create it. When you select the image, you have to make sure under background type, you select cover to stretch so that your image will fit the dimensions of the background. Insert, now our image is here. Let me quickly show you how I created this image. To create my images, I use the Canva platform. You can use this for free. There's also a paid version. I currently have the paid version, but for years I've always used the free version. There's just a few extra perks that comes with the paid version. When you create a new design, Canva has pre-made layout. So if you want a Facebook cover, if you need a Facebook ad for your blog, Facebook post, it goes on and on and on. Now. If you don't find the exact dimensions that you want, you can also always use custom dimensions. So you would put your width and your height and you would select pixels, millimeters, or inches. So I've already created images with the custom dimensions that I need for Everlesson. And for the login screen, the images that I use are 1280 by 800. If you would like to get the Everlesson Perfect Image Sizing Guide, make sure you register for your free account at the link in the description below. To create this image, I just selected one of the layouts. Now you don't have to use these layouts, but I chose to do this because it perfectly frames your photos so that it looks like a collage in your picture. So the layout that I selected was this one right here. So let me just show you how I recreate this. You just select it, 
it fits into there perfectly and then you upload your own photo so I have my own images in here and I created a little folder now this folder system is something that comes with the upgrade that you pay for but if not they will all just be in uploads I just didn't want to have to scroll and scroll and scroll to find all my photos for this demonstration so here is the food photo and you just drag it to the square you want it in you can double click it click it and you can move it up and down and then when you're done you can either save it or you can cancel the other photos that I used was this fitness photo and then the others I used are in here I thought this photo symbolized online training. If you teach any type of meditation or yoga, this symbolizes if you're if you teach guitar lessons or any type of artistic. And I also use this typewriter image to kind of represent writers and authors, anybody who teaches writing. So that's how I pulled together my background image. Now again, you can do whatever you want, but I just thought a fun collage of different things that you can teach in Ever Lesson would be a good background image. So there's the background image that I created earlier. All we've done is added the logo, added our image. Once you upload your images, go ahead and save. This is the login screen and this is how your images show up. I like to do my colors when I get to this point because you're able to customize the colors of your login screen, your category pages, your module pages, pages and you can see how it's working out as you go. So let's look at the colors on the login page. You can either use custom colors or predefined colors. Let me demonstrate the predefined colors on this screen because you can see where the colors will fall. So when you click the predefined colors drop down, you will see each one of these is a combination of colors. If I were to click this, you will see this bar change, these images will change, and these also the categories all of that will change so let's check it out okay so it's already a combination of colors so if you don't want to fool with custom colors you can pick one of these predefined colors and your membership site will be beautifully coordinated I like to use the custom colors and for this particular theme I enjoyed the actual colors that were standard in this theme so I'll be changing it back to those colors the primary color is a color I usually change and that is the color that is in the logo so that they kind of jive together. The big box color I also changed. So since Everlesson has blue in it, I wouldn't want blue to be in the background. I actually think the logo looks better on black, so I'll be choosing black. And this is the actual color that surrounds the login box. So right now it's a black fade. You can make it red, white, but I'm gonna leave that black as well. So now I've already customized my theme. Click save and I'll check out how it looks on the other pages. So this is the actual product image page and you would want to add a background here. In order to set my backdrop image, you have to click set backdrop image at the bottom, add image. You're taken to your image library. This is the image I've already uploaded. Make sure you click cover, stretch, insert your image. So now your image is there. The colors are already set. I set that in the previous screen. Save, and that's it. Your website theme is selected and customized. You can click this preview button and see your login screen. We won't be able to see the rest of the pages until we've created a member, and that will be in a future training. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the links in the description box below so that you can get started with Everlesson and stay tuned for my next video where I show you how to upload all of your video content in a matter of minutes. Take care.